Sal, tell, tell everyone who your favorite trainer at Team Mojo is. Dean. Why? Because he what? worked me. What does John. That mean? What does that mean? He's my favorite buddy. <laughs> he likes me to mentor him. I do? Yes. Oh, wow. That's news to me. I've only been coming here for two years now. His bike sucks. <laughs> Make sure you got my good side. So, Sal, how, how many times have you been in the hospital since you started training here in the last two years? Zero. How many times were you in the hospital prior? A lot. So you're saying Team Mulder does a pretty good job of keeping you uh, relatively healthy? Yes. Physically? Physically. What about mentally? Mentally, more importantly. Why is that? Because I feel like I accomplished something. When you're good looking, you don't have to train. But mentally, I have to train. Who's giving, you, who's giving you that that feedback? It's just, you're born with it. Oh, got it. Confidence, got it. <sighs> going to get the best time today. Are we going to get the best time today? It doesn't look like it. Was it set to 100 or 120? 100. Feels like it. Did you walk yesterday? Yes, sir. I walked I mean, four my, miles. Did you go to Carvel? I went to Carvel right after. Felt I deserved the ice cream. So no one really knows this, but Sal and I are in a weight loss challenge. It's going to be about 60 days. We just wrapped up week one. Sal, update the fans. How'd it go after one week? So How much weight did you lose? I don't really go by how much weight. Just look. A and B. Need to say anymore. Place your votes, guys. Place your bets. Who's going to win? Me or John? I tried to give Sal a benefit and of the doubt. John owns a gym. I have to go to work like the rest of America. I don't get the opportunity to sit in the gym all day. Sal comes to the gym from 8 to 9 o'clock. Then he goes home and showers and has breakfast from 9 to 10. Then he goes to FDR Park from 10 to who knows when. And then he sits in his work truck for about an hour, hour and a half and takes a nap. So if that's work, I will happily trade spots with you. That's because color my world. <laughs> oh, my men are very is efficient. This, a, this is a promo now. <laughs> and very well. <laughs> Committed <laughs> to all our clients. Uh oh, starting to sweat. <laughs> what? The bet. What was the bet? A thousand bucks. For what? Fifty cows in a minute. You didn't think I could do it. You were gonna bet a thousand bucks, and then you chickened out. <sighs> you never chicken out. You chickened out, dude. He only gambles. You chickened out. On what he know he could achieve. That's not necessarily <sighs> true. I'm not 100 percent certain Finished. I'll be you in the weight loss challenge. That's the best sound. 99.999. Never underestimate the under defeated. Right, well, obviously not going for any PRs this morning. Ball busting all day long. That's what you come back for, Sal. Have your water bottle here so we can talk about that new habit that you picked up. Yes. Picked up a new habit. Drinking, consuming a lot of water. So how much water do you drink per day, Sal? I don't have my little girly bottle with me today. But typically... How big is that bottle? Four bottles. Four of these in the morning. Very important. To consume the water. Hydration. Key factor. Oh. Alright, we're on to Sal's second set. He's pretty warm now. Next couple reps, you would really see him focus on lowering the weight nice and slow. Primary goal is to grow the back and biceps. So in Which order is to already that, very large. In order to do that, we have to use an appropriate weight and move at an appropriate tempo. I'm a perfect specimen of training and how the motions are done. We do need some kind of music to zone out John once in a while. <laughs> The old school worker outer. Yeah. The old school <laughs> worker outer. Edit. <laughs> it's all about the form, not about how much weight. So you're the easy bar curl professional. Show everyone what you got. Slow and steady. Sal's life motto right there. Huh? Yep. For all these people that are watching saying, oh, that ain't heavy. It's not about how much weight you can curl. It's about how you curl without no movement in your back, swinging back and forth. We're hiring coaches, Sal. You want yes. in? No, thank you. <laughs> I hear the pay's not too well. <laughs> there we go. That was good for the video. You were hitting these step ups flawlessly. Not filming when I passed out. 
Best exercise for people that have high blood pressure. It will lower their blood pressure. Success is not only in the pocket. That's advice you're gonna give people? Yes. Or else is success. Proving to yourself you can exercise. Create a better healthy life and healthy choices. Can't wait to eat a pizza after this. <laughs> a salad pizza? A sal and pizza? Oh, brother, this guy stinks! <laughs> so now, remember, we've added some weight. So the goal is to hit 10 reps at that same tempo with the additional load. Let's see if Sal can do it. Not like putting me on the spot. Yeah, well. Reminder, broken wrist. Oh, now we're coming out of the uh, excuse pocket. My nipples are very hard today. <laughs> so as you can see, now that we added some weight, Sal's moving a little bit quicker and he's reducing his range of motion to compensate for the lack of his ability to do the movement correctly with the additional load. So generally with working with clients, they tend to run to heavier weight because they think it's better. Heavier weight is just heavier, it's not better. So if you rewind this video and listen to what Sal said on his last set. It's not about the it's weight. not about the weight. He's now contradicting himself. No, I was just demonstrating. Gotcha. There's Demonstra a difference. He was demonstrating how when you add weight, it can compromise doing the exercise correctly. So what now we would do is we would take these fives off, we would tell Sal to bury his ego, and we will repeat the set at a more appropriate weight for himself. At least after two years, my ego is very big versus my muscles. <laughs> It's training the mind, right? So, so now let's hit a real set, Sal. Nothing like double the workout. <laughs> Look at that. Full range of motion. More control. Nice upright torso. Set of 10. Come on. Come on. Back to step ups. Really makes you lightheaded. <laughs> As you guys can tell, Sal is very camera shy. Camera shy. Doesn't enjoy being recorded. I prefer to do this naked. For, you, for all those that think this is easy, it's not. Tell them, Sal. Kicks the shit out of your legs. That's sick, come on. It sucks. This is worse than the bike. What's that? Worse than the bike. Step ups, worse than the bike? They both suck. What about a step up bike back to back combo? I'm glad you got this on camera. There you go. This is real. Real what? Real training? Real training. You guys heard it here. Real training at Team Mojo. None of that, none of that fake shit. None of this fake shit. Now I'm dead. My trainer, John, makes me do five cows in between carries. But I'm gonna challenge him on a live camera right now. I do five, he does five. Let's see how much faster he is than I am on five cows. Oh wow, look at that. I've never, ever seen that effort before. Eight seconds. And Eight seconds, I'll, five cows, and then I will 105 literally. speed. Oh, fucking hands are all slimy. Now John is an oh, Echo Bike, famous for this uh, bike. I'm expecting him to do it in less than two. It won't be less than two. The bike doesn't really start registering calories so after four. Here comes all the excuses in the book. Ladies and gentlemen. Seven seconds. Ladies and gentlemen. Look at the math. Seven seconds. Look at the math. Eight seconds for this 50-year-old out of shape guy. To his 109. He beat me by a second. A second. And he calls himself the world fastest. Just That's goes like to show you that percent. fat guy like myself this guy. is just as good as a guy that's in shape. Definitely not. 
challenge. Ready? Improvement. Here we go. That was how much recovery time? Let's get back on the bike. Oh boy, here we go. Let's see Sal do his second round. Same. Good. You're up. You're up. You're up. First challenge was proven. Doesn't matter after this. We're gonna go slow and steady, like I said before. When exercising, carry. It's not about the weight. It's not about how fast you do something. It's the quality that you do. Down and back for three. Oh! This is going to destroy his ego. Can't I'm going to sleep. I can't wait to tell the girls. I'm going to sleep great tonight. Jess, Nicole, he did it one second faster. He did not ride any faster. We both rode at the same speed. 105. We sure did not. I was at 116. We have it on video. Truth will be told on this video. One out of eight seconds. What's that? What's 100 divided by eight? Let's do some math. You got it on film. That's all that matters. Take notice that my trainer is still huffing and puffing. I did two in 30 seconds. Here we go. Finding excuses. <laughs> We're finding excuses. I just did a carry of 80 pounds. Sal he's standing did, around Sal did and one, exercising his voice one five and still huffing sprint. and puffing. I'm not even going to bother. For anybody out there that thinks that this is easy, I will pay for your first uh, sign up. First month. Your first personal one-on-one -on -one training at Team Mojo, <laughs> paid by Color My World, Inc.com. <laughs> Come prove yourself today. Plug it, Sal. Here you go, John. Plug it. There's no way. That was heart attack material. Let's go, boy. But I did it. Never gets out of work that hard. No. Not this happy. is about how Sal, how fast Sal usually goes. This is the norm. Slow and steady, you still get there. One more carry, bro. Come on. Oh. Last set of carry, Sal. Home free, baby. Last set, come on. You'll notice that my posture and my shoulders are pinched back. Yeah, Sal, Sal has spent a lot of time on the runway in his life. <clears throat> yes. I used to move a lot of wheelbarrows. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the epitome of greatness right here at this session. Oh, there's our other famous trainer, Luke. I'd like to introduce Luke. Coming in with a cup of coffee. Luke. I'd like you to understand that I just challenged John and Mojo Jim. Who can do five cows faster? And you lost. <laughs> 105 in eight seconds. John did it. 105 in seven seconds. No, no, no. I did one. Eight. How does he claim to be the fastest in the world? Stay tuned. Not even close to explaining that correctly. You know what the 105 is? in the video, John. Uh, yeah. One you five, imagine, Luke? One five cow sprint. I sat on that bench for 10 minutes. Luke, the challenge was, who can do it faster? And you lost! By one second. You the bike doesn't... A fat guy, like myself, did it one second slower now he's fat. than this guy that's His in shape. His whole session, he was jacked, beautiful. Now he's fat. That's all right, so. No. You're confused. Let that me, let me, let me, me re-emphasize that. Here we go. I said, good looking. You can still be fat and good looking. So, my, my, my point has been clearly documented on this tape, and if it gets deleted, it's just to hide the cover-up, <laughs> ah, the cover like up the government. That you feel. <laughs> oh, God. Trump! Here we go. Woo! Right, guys, I think that's it for today. Father of two, married man, busy guy, cell phone rings probably two or three times per session. Still finds a way to get it in, as you can see in his session. Spent a thorough amount of time warming up, working on some mobility. Got a good strength workout in. Finished with some good conditioning, but had a lot of good fun hanging out, building our relationship. Win-win uh, for everybody. Sign up in the next 30 days, and I'm paying for the first one. Call my world. Yeah. And if you ever need any home renovations or painting done, see Sal at Color My World. But this is not for commercial intent. 
This is just to show you that a guy like me puts the time in.